hi guys you are welcome back to my youtube channel my name is iolua and um, if this is the first time you are seeing this face um you're welcome to my youtube channel i film about faith career lifestyle relationships and a lot of other good stuff um happy to have you here please don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you're a returning subscriber why am i trying my hands all over the place is excitement because the day you are watching this video it's my birthday Ooh! i know i'm shouting but yes i'm excited if you're watching this video today the 13th of april 2020 today is my birthday and i clocked 26 today jesus who is the owner of that age because it's probably not mine anyways so like you would have is it like you would have been able to tell or like, like you can tell from the title of this video this is aspire to perspire birthday edition so in this video i'm going to be telling you guys some of the very important lessons that i have learned in the past year not like past 26 years how much you will do jesus christ lessons that i've learned that has been like very close to my heart in this particular last year that I just ended in my 25th year and the first thing that I'm going to mention is that gratitude is important. Guys, this last year was, I don't, I, I don't want to use the word turbulence because I won't even lie. I cannot say that it was a, a lot challenging than the other years. But yes, maybe a little more challenging. And you know, I had to deal with a lot, a, a couple of things, you know, yeah, quite some like that. And of course, the general factor, Nigerian factor, I had to deal a lot with Nigerian factor more than I've dealt with in my previous years because of course I'm growing older, I live alone, I'm by myself, so you know, and when you're by yourself like that, you have to deal with a lot of Nigerian Nigerianness. So yes, I think that's one of the things that God has been impressing upon my heart a lot to be able to deal with the entire thing going on is being grateful. And it, it started for me the beginning of this year, this is my 26th year, when I saw a video, I'm going to like insert um i'll try to see if i can insert a little piece of the video that i saw i've been seeing it on one of my friend's status whatsapp status i think like for like a week or so not like i've been seeing it i saw it once and then it struck me and when that gratitude thing started coming to me a lot that video was coming to my mind and so i've been using that video and that song to basically express gratitude to god on a daily basis and this is something that has helped me um, to deal with all of the mess and all of the so many things to be angry and to be sad about um, in life in Nigeria in very many very many places so to say and so but I've, I've come to understand that gratitude is very important the devil tries to ensure that we keep our eyes off the things that should make us glad that should make us happy that should make us thankful to God and that we focus on the negatives and that's blocks our eyes from what god has done from what he is doing and for the things that we're expecting him to do basically so i think that one lesson that i learned in a very new way this year is that gratitude is very 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 important like extremely important and if you're watching this video i want you to try it not just practice not just as a show try to it could be just journaling it could be writing little gratitude notes every day it could be it could literally be any of that you know just you showing god that you're grateful just you showing god that and not just showing god being actually grateful from the depths of your heart i think is very 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 important so um that is one lesson that i have learned the second lesson is the importance of friendship guys god does not intend that we do life alone like he has placed people in our lives beyond our immediate family beyond our colleagues at work he has placed people in our lives that are friends and i think that one thing that i've also learned in a new way this year is that, is that it's important to be committed to your friendships life life is happening to everybody like people are busy people are catching up with work people are ca catching up with many things in their lives but I think that it's important that we make conscious, very, very conscious efforts to keep up with friend, friends, to keep up with friendship because they help us. Like towards the end of my 25th year, I spent like 
a number of repeated weekends with my friends and i re, re, and i discovered that I was a lot happier not because not that when i'm alone i am not happy or i'm sad it's just that the fact that you have people that understand you that you vibe on the same frequency that are believers that you have like similar interests to talk about it just makes a lot of things easier like it makes you feel like you're not alone feel like you're not doing life alone and but you guys, you know, you guys sharpen each other, you talk about things together and all of that. It just makes it a lot beautiful. And every time I spend with the people that matter to me, I'm reminded that God does not intend that we do life alone. So try to be committed to your friendships. Don't just feel, I'm speaking to myself as well. Don't just feel like mm, everybody is dealing with work, Lagos is tough. Yes, Lagos is tough, but it's very important to also stay committed to your friendships very 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 important that is my second lesson from the past year that i've spent the third lesson that i have learned guys is that money is good see eh, this particular year i learned it a lot more and i am more intentional i've decided i'm going to be more intentional not just chasing money but actually being open to ways that i can make more money that i can of course in legitimate ways that i can put myself out there, put my business out there, do things that interest me and can fund me, fund my lifestyle. Because it is, see, I don't even know how best to say it. Money is good, guys. Money is good. And this, I'm not saying that anybody should chase money at the expense of eternity, at the expense of your loved ones, at the expense of other things that matter to you. I'm just saying that, Ensure that you, you're never in a space where you think that money is bad or because they said, mo the Bible does not say money is the root of all evil. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. So know that if, if in fact to serve God, you need money to function in the kingdom physically here. You need money. When you have money, a lot of things that are in your hands, that God has placed in your hands, prosper because you have money to fund them so don't ever feel like don't be part of people that will be bad mounting the rich and say um da 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 da, da prosperity they say it's a leor or let me like everybody that is prospering must be must have been doing something maybe there's some cultism or yeah, yeah. yes those things exist but the truth is that legitimate money also exists and you need to be open to making money because if you don't if you're not open to making money, if you're always against people that have money, money can run away from you. I hear that money runs away from people. I don't want money to run away from me. And I've learned this year that a lot of things in life become easier when you have money. See, eh, let me even give you guys too much information. I'm staying in this house. I've been staying in this current apartment that I'm in for like some two days. It's somebody's Airbnb that I stayed. And I'm not even going to lie. I've not been in many fine houses in my entire existence. But this house I'm currently in is like the finest house I've been in my life. I'm not even going to lie. Like, it's the fine, is Aesthetics is mad. Okay, I'm, I should stop using words like that. Aesthetics is great. The lighting is great. Environment is serene. Everything is beautiful. And this video that people are watching on my birthday, I recorded it as far back as in March when I was in this house. As I'm speaking to you now, I'm in the house. But you're going to see this video in April. I recorded it far back. I recorded like six, five or six videos in this house that I'm in because the environment makes me want to be productive, makes me want to, you know, so I can imagine that this is my house, this is where I live. It won't be hard for me to make YouTube videos. Ideas will come because everything is great. The environment is good. There are cleaners, you know, everything that you need. I'm not even going to like every single thing that you need is in this place. So you can imagine internet inclusive so you can imagine that you have the means to build this kind of house to give it everything that you will need to live a conv convenient life you'll be inspired to make money you'll be inspired to be productive the two days two three days i spent here i've been my most productive this month so yeah it's, it's it's very beautiful money is good and if god if god if god agrees for you that you have money money is very important and by god's grace god's going to help me to make more money in this 26th year of my life so that is the fourth lesson is it four or three now I'm, i've lost count so that is the next lesson that i'm going to speak about the last lesson is that time moves fast 
I wasn't pretending when I'm like, how am I 26? I can't, I can't remember when I was 18. Like, how? How did everything, and this pandemic just made everything move so freaking fast. Like, what? So time moves fast and it's important that we don't waste time doing the things that don't make us happy, doing the things that are not of eternal value, doing the things that does not make God happy because the truth is that time moves fast. And at the expense of sounding too, <laughs> there's nothing like sounding too crystally. My lips are cracked. There's nothing like sounding too crystally, but at the expense of sounding too crystally, the end is near. I know that you've been saying it since. But well, just at the end is near. Time is moving so fast, and so many things are happening in the world that we are now that you know that the times are the times are moving very close to the end. So it's very important that you spend your time doing the things that make you happy, being with your loved ones. Because see, there's no shying away from it. People are dying. Even the loved ones are dying, and so it is important that you spend time with the people that you love. You don't don't um, don't don't face over face career over face. Those things are also they also contribute to your happiness. But ensure that time is spent with family. Ensure that time is spent with friends because this time is moving very fast. And also ensure that you are spending your time on things that have eternal value because that's what we count. Every other thing is not going to count after now. So it's very important that you are spending your time doing these things that would have eternal value because. The end is near. So those are some of the lessons that I've learned in my past year. And um, I'm hoping that by the time I'm doing this kind of video for when I clock, what did I just clock? 26. For when I clock 27, I'll be able to say, ah, yes, I've made more money. Ah, yes, I spent, I went to Dubai with my friends. I spent a lot of quality time with loved ones and all of that. Of course, if Jesus tarries. So these are some of the lessons that I've learned. Um, Feel free to wish me happy birthday in the comment section. Please, if you are watching this video, your birthday gift to me is to share. Invite your friends to subscribe to my channel. I want, like, I am committed to the growth of this channel. In a, I'm committing to the growth of this channel in a new way this year. I'm praying that God helps me to be very consistent, to bring you guys, not just sit down content, but vlogs, and quite a lot of things that would interest you as well. That is my commitment this year, so I'm, and I'm praying that God will help me. Thank you guys so much for coming to watch my video today. And yes, happy birthday to me. Feel free, wish me in the comments. I can drop my phone number. It wasn't me when. Thank you guys so much for coming to watch my video today. And yes, see you on the next one.